I'm Roger and welcome back to the Tractor Tech channel. I've been wanting to paint the wheels on this trailer for a while now because they make the trailer look really bad, but the weather hasn't been that great to be painting. We have some nice weather today, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Here's what the wheels on the left side of the trailer look like. And here are the products I'm going to be using. I have some Rust-Oleum primer, then Rust-Oleum wheel paint. I've used this paint in the past and it holds up really well and then also the Rust-Oleum clear coat. Because the Rust-Oleum paint doesn't hold up that well to the UV rays, so after a while it will get dull looking, and I think the clear coat helps it stay shiny looking. I painted the wheels on this trailer in the fall of 2013, and you can see the wheels still look great. They just have some dust and some mud on them right now. And the wheels on this trailer were also painted at the same time, also using the Rust-Oleum wheel paint with the Rust-Oleum clear coat. The problem with like Rust-Oleum paint or any of your spray can paints is the paint's soft. When I took the trailer in to get it inspected, some dummy popped the hub cap off to check the brakes and you don't even need to do that. You look through the backing plate to inspect the brakes on a trailer like this anyway. <laughs> These tires have a bunch of dust and dirt, even some sawdust on them. So before I go to doing much to them, I'm gonna go ahead and wash them off right now. I'm just gonna use some cheap dish detergent and a brush to clean them up a little bit. I don't like using an aggressive cleaner on tires because I think it dries your tires out and causes them to dry rot, which these tires aren't much good anyway, but. Now I have the tires and wheels washed up. They look a lot better. The insides were filthy, caked with dirt. I'm gonna start cleaning the inside of this wheel first. Now I have a couple wheels cleaned up, I'm going to spray them down with some brake cleaner, get them ready to prime. So after spraying the brake clean on and getting the wheels cleaned up a little bit, I saw a couple areas that I need to touch up with some sandpaper, so I did that and then sprayed them down with brake clean again. I have one of the wheels, the valve stem taped off. I'm laying them down on a piece of cardboard to keep from painting the concrete also. I need to tape this off, but I'm going to go ahead and start priming. Now I'm going to take the tire off the bead prior to painting it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Alright, so now I'm ready to start painting on this wheel. Cardboard in here. Paint. In this case, primer. And you can see the wheel's clean, or the tire is clean. All right, so that's one side with one coat of primer on there. I think it looks pretty good considering what I started out with. That's the inside. Inside was worse because. These wheels actually came off of a trailer that was driven on a dirt road a lot. So a lot of dirt got in there, plus the trailer had those stupid uh, hub buddies and they were over lubricated and pushed a bunch of grease out onto the wheel. So the grease stuck to the wheels and then dirt stuck to the grease and caused the wheels to rust. You can see they look pretty good now. Mainly the inside, I'm just trying to preserve it. So I'm gonna flip it over and go ahead and get the outside primed. Put two coats of primer on the wheels so now I'm ready to spray the paint on them. I have two coats of paint on the wheels. Now I'm going to clear coat them. As you can see, I have the tires pumped back up on the wheels and the wheels mounted back on the trailer. I think it makes the trailer look a lot better. The wheels aren't perfect by any means. They're in pretty rough shape. Before I started on them, they had some pretty deep rust pits and some pretty big paint chips off of them. But all in all, I think it makes the trailer look pretty good now in comparison to what it looked like before. On the single axle trailer that I showed you, I painted the hubs also to make things look better. But I plan on painting the rest of this trailer. So at that time, I'm going to paint the hubs. And you may have noticed I have those uh, chrome covers over the hubs on the other trailers probably going to get those for these also so it'll be covered but I'm still going to paint it when I paint the rest of the trailer. I ended up using two cans of primer. The primer didn't cover very well. You could spray a coat on it and you could see it soaked in. So I used two cans of primer, one can of the wheel paint. It covers very very well. I put two coats of the wheel paint on the wheels also. I put about two and a half coats of primer on because I had to do a little bit of touch up here and there. And then on the clear coat, I used two cans of it just about also. So all in all, this project probably cost around $35 or $40. I think all the cans of paint I had were like 50 bucks, but I have like three of them that can go back. So yeah, probably about 35 bucks, less than the cost of one new wheel and a cheaper new wheel that you'd get off of like Amazon or eBay. It's probably not the quality of these wheels. They probably aren't exactly round or exactly true. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this.